Kuzan, or commonly known as Aokiji, is a former marine admiral, and he was the first admiral to be revealed in One Piece, which he encountered the straw hat when he was sleeping. He could have ended Luffy's dream to find the One Piece at that point, but he is kind of a weird person who is observing Robin's journey to find where she belongs to. Quite a creepy man, isn't he? But despite his interesting characteristics, Kuzan has shown his overwhelming power against the straw hat or during Marine Ford. He has to be one of the strongest characters in One Piece. Before we get into today's video, my channel mainly discusses about anime characters or hot anime topics. If you love these type of contents, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Thank you very much and hope you enjoy the video. Kuzan is an incredibly tall, slim, yet muscular man. At 298 centimeter tall, he is just slightly shorter than the two admirals pre time skip. He has black, curly haircut to ching length that fans out of the tips, tan skin, and an altogether lean, long build. His standard outfit while in the Marines consists of a white button up vest with standing collar over a long sleeve navy blue shirt with matching white trousers and black dress shoes. This is all rarely accompanied by a matching white suit jacket. He also wears a yellow tie divided by geometry by black lines and a sleeve mask on his forehead, which is kind of funny. As a child, Kuzan has a green mask on his face. He wore a dirty light blue shirt and a purple pair of shorts with white stripes. He carried an umbrella tie on his back, a bottle of alcohol and a backpack. Also. His hair was curlier compared to his current hairstyle. Kuzan is lazy as well. I mean, he shows no shock or surprise from almost anything. He is a little bit like Mihawk, but give a completely different vibe. His lack of interest and his lazy justice lead to others believing that this guy cannot be possibly that strong or being a higher ranking marine. Therefore, people often underestimate Kuzan, making him more dangerous. Since people let their guard down without realizing Kuzan is actually an Amaro. He won't do much in the things he's not interested. However, if he deems a situation worthy or dangerous, he will take action. Before we continue any further, just want to say thank you for watching up to this point. Let me know who is your favorite Marie Amaro at the coming session. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Before joining the Marine, Kuzam himself stated that he does not have high self esteem to begin with in the world government. Kuzam was also one of the vice admirals who participated in Buster Code in Ohara, but he spared Robin's life due to his friend, Jaguar D. Sao. Kuzan has always been playing a passive role, even as a Marine throughout the One Piece series. During Annie's lobby arc, he appeared multiple times, but he did not get involved in the catching of a straw hat pirates. During the Marine Ford arc, he did not go all out catching Ace. He seems like he never tried to capture the pirates, even if it is the job of Marines. Kuzan was nominated to become the fleet MRO of the Marines, but Akai knew once that position very badly. This made Kuzan go all out when fighting for the fleet MRO position with Sakazuki Akainu. Why is that? Probably because Kuzan understands Akainu's absolute justice. That will cause more people to suffer and unhappy, which will not make the world a better place. Aokijin and Akainu then later battle on Punk Hazard, with the fighting lasting for 10 days. The battle between them was so ferocious that it changed the weather of Punk Hazard. The winner ends up to be Akainu. And Aokiji resigned from the Marines with staggering level of scars, and his left legs reduced a stump. Actually, Aokiji used Devil Fruit power to generate a replacement limb out of ice. We are going to focus on Kuzan relationships between the Marines and the Pirates, because Kuzan does not hate Pirates at all. 
Anaya Kainu in the Marines. Kusan is very popular with the troops of any rank, which was the reason why most flag officers favor him as candidate for the position of fleet admiral. Aokiji also has good relationship with Garp in the past, who even owning Garp a debt for helping him sometime in the past before he became an admiral. Kuzan was also a close friend of Jaguar D. Sao, which is one of the reasons why he let Robin go during the destruction of Buster Cole. However, Kuzan has to kill his friend, just like how Garps need to witness the death of Ace. Aokiji's relationship with Akainu, we can tell it is not very good. They don't really like each other since they have different justices. For Kuzan, it should be lazy justice, but for Akainu, it would be absolute justices. Kuzan does not like how Akainu always overdoing things. Due to former Vice Amaro Jaguar D. Sao's refusal to engage in Ohara slaughter, Kuzan was compelled to freeze and kill his dear buddy, former Vice Amaro Jaguar D. Sao. As it turned out, Sao was also Robin's best friend at the time, and it was horrific experience for the little girl who is now afraid of Kuzan. Kuzan allowed Robin to flee Ohara as a token of the giant's friendliness, but he warned her that if they ever cross paths again, he would become her enemy and attempt to arrest her or even murder her. Later, he seemed to retain some concern for her well-being, as he expressed relief at seeing her eventually finding a home with the Straw Hat Pirates. During the post Annie's lobby celebrations, the two did run into together, but Aokiji opted against taking action and even urged Robin to continue sailing with the Straw Hats, stating that they are unlike any other crews or groups she has previously joined and that they truly grasp the meaning of friendship. This is where Robin finds his belongings, the home. This is where Robin will actually start her journey. Once Kuzan lost to Akainu, he becomes one of the Blackbeard pirates, like, what the hell going on? Kuzan explained the reason for his action when he went to save Smoker in Punk Hazard from Doflamingo, and he told Smoker that he wanted a different perspective on things, and being with the Blackbeard, he was finally able to see things more clearly, probably because Blackbeard is one of the Yonkoi. We would love to know more about the reasons why Aokiji joined Blackbeard, as it doesn't really make much sense at this point. In this episode, we have explored the background story of Aokiji Kuzan. In the next episode, we are going to talk about the power of Kuzan as well as his devil fruit. If you love One Piece content, don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, it really helps me a lot, and see you in the next episode.